everybody, my name is of course Griffin from Coupon Brady Tech and today we're going to be doing another tutorial. The topic of today's video is how to edit photos on your phone with a free app in the App Store. The app is called Pixlr and it is a great way to edit photos and make them look awesome. So obviously first you're going to want to head into your App Store, hence a search, and you're going to want to type in Pixlr, just like that, P-I-X-L-R, and then you're going to hit that. And the first one that pops up here, Pixlr Photo Editor for Collages, Effects, and Overlays, and you're going to click Download and obviously type in your Apple ID, but I already had this app. So once it's loading, you can see here, it will download onto your phone. All right, my app has now loaded, and I'm going to click on that icon there and it will bring you to this screen. So it's going to ask you if it, if it wants to, um, if you want it to access your photos, of course, you're going to need to edit a photo. So you're going to click OK. And then you can either go to your camera and it would like to access the camera, so yes. And then you can take a picture. So I'll take a picture um, right now. But I don't actually want that. I was just showing you that feature. So what I'm actually going to do is go to Photos, and then it, and then it'll bring up your camera roll. So you can pick anything from here. I'm just going to pick, let's say, I'm going to pick this photo here um, of that mountain there in the snowy landscape. So I'm going to click um, so the most useful bar. Um, you see this bar down at the bottom. Um, and you're going to click on the second icon there with the circles. And that's going to bring up your tools. So, you, first one, you can crop your image. If you want it to be on Instagram, for example, you can use these boxes to get it to a square like that. Um, but I'm going to want it uh, at its full length. See here, you can click on one-to-one -one for Instagram, or these are all the different aspect ratios. So those can be uh, helpful in cropping your image, but I'm just going to keep it at free right now. And you can go back into your tools. You can blur some parts of your uh, image. So I like to put a little blur. So let's say I want to drag these lines and have just the middle of the picture, um, this little bit, just that in clear, and then everything else is sort of blurred. So it's focused on the middle. Or I could get a circular one of those and focus this on the mountain there, or the mountain top, and then have everything else blurred. Um, and you can mess around with that, the amount of blur, like that. So I'm just gonna keep it at like that much. Um, actually, no, I'll change that. Drag it down a little bit about one. Okay, so I'm gonna head back into tools. Um, I can smooth this by just doing that. And that'll just give it sort of washed out look. Um, and then another one of my favorite things to do is um, you can darken the image. So I can drag this paintbrush and I can just sort of paint the image. And you can see along the edges, it is very faint, but if I just paint the whole image, I'm making it uh, a bit darker. And then I can increase that or decrease it. You can also make it brighter. Oh, that's still darker. <laughs> you can make it brighter by clicking on the two circles there. And that can, you can brighten it back up. You may be able to see, I'm not sure, um, but I'm brightening it back up. Once again, you can play with that. You can also pixelate some parts of the image. That's similar to blurring, except if I like go along the edges here, you can see um, this is nice if you have a picture and you want to blur out someone's face that doesn't really want to be in the picture. Um, so you can pixelate the entire thing, and that looks pretty funky. Um, and you can increase the area of pixelation or decrease it. Um, but obviously I don't want that. And then you can also doodle on it. I can say like sub and then you can mess with that and you can change its color. 
drag along the hues here, change the color. Um, and yeah. Then if you head over here, you have all your different filters. So you can mess around with these. Some of them are pretty cool. That one looks pretty cool. Um, so sure, I'll do that. Um, and then over here you have some uh, sort of outlines for your picture. So I can make it flowery like that or mess around with those too, maybe like that. And that's basically it. Um, I've now got a photo. Um, there, as, as you can see, there are tons more of tools that you can mess around with here. Um, you can do basically whatever you want. This is incredibly powerful. Um, and this is just a holiday message here. You can put some ornaments on it. It's kind of nice. Um, but once you're done with your image, you're going to want to head over to here and click Done in the top right. And you can save your image to your camera roll. You can up upload it straight to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. Um, but I'm just going to save it to my camera roll. And it'll load there. And you can see it pops up a little message, Save to your camera roll. So uh, that's pretty much it. It's a really powerful um, photo editing app um, for your phone or iPad. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, you can also you can also click on collage and get some other overlays here. Um, you can do some stuff with that. There's tons of other overlays for the. Uh, Formation. You can have that many photos in it, and then you just click Add, and it'll bring you to your camera roll, so I could plop like that in that picture, um, stuff like that. But I'm going to head back to home. Um, so yeah, it's a very powerful photo editing uh, app. Um, I would highly recommend it. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like down below and a comment if you have any questions. Um, and don't forget to subscribe as well. I'll see you later.